the results of the plenary in BOMAS. Um, we, we really want to understand, like um, the Vice President is asking, when did they become, when did the Commission become so dysfunctional? Uh, we really want to understand that. Uh, is there a stage where they were working together in tiring and verifying and then they went and announced and then suddenly the, there was a stoppage because um, the, 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 the announcements also stopped streaming live. So we really want to understand that. And this could also go to the other uh, council appearing for the commissioners. You've raised many issues. Um, going way back uh, before the election. The Venezuelans, um, mistreatment by the chairman, uh, were not allowed to do this and that. But we saw you, we saw your clans in public reading out results. The puppet, and that's what I'm calling my acquiescence question. They did all these things until the 11th hour. What evidence do we have that it's not an afterthought, that they did, they're not doing this in good faith, what evidence do we have, apart from the, 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 the question of the, the, the instructions to cancel, the, the, the meeting they called, why don't we have, do we have anything showing that for the last three, four months, they documented these grievances and that there was therefore a storm brewing? Um, my own sense of things is that um, when you come at, only at the point of final declaration, how then do we trust? that in fact there were issues before. Then let's get back to the four commissioners because this is serious. Uh, I, we were informed by, I think this must have been Mr. Nyamodi, uh, quite graphically, that the four commissioners were located roles other than those for which they were appointed as commissioners. Some were heads of protocol, I think others were media, <laughs> welfare, <laughs> interesting stuff here. Uh, allocating such roles to commissioners. Uh, oh, why didn't they protest? Is this chairperson we are dealing with such a terror that nobody can face him and tell him you can't do this? Because now what we are hearing, these are serious, serious uh, disclosures. Uh, my next uh, question was to Philip Murgo. Uh, I was dra drawing a chart when you explained to us that um, y y what you're telling us is that in the evidence that you have is that the Form 34 w went into the Kim skit at the polling station to the constituency. Then between the constituency and the public portal, the Form 38 numbers were changed. They were changed in that sequence, if I'm to understand you. Now, um, I don't understand much about ICT, but I presume that at the polling station, when the Kim's kit uh, takes the image, these forms are written in handwriting. How can you explain then, so that I can understand, how a form can be changed in handwriting? The postponement of elections in uh, certain areas and you say this resulted in voter suppression. That people wake up one morning to go and vote for a particular uh, category of mm. candidates mm. that I go to the voting or polling station to vote for an MCA, uh, or is it called MC? Mm. Um, yeah. um, that people go to vote for a uh, senator but not the other uh, positions. Do we have any scientific nexus uh, on this or is it just um, an assumption uh, that this happens? And if an election is to be ordered to be done now, um, yet one of the reliefs you are seeking is that the chair and, uh, and substantially the, the, the commission, but, substan uh, but effectively the chair, we want, you want us to hold him 
or to declare that he is not fit to hold public office because of his malfeasance, because of his um, um, the, the, the illegalities, the irregularities, even uh, allegations of fraud that he has perpetrated, that he is not fit to carry out that exercise, to be in charge of the, such elections. The, our constitution, I believe, has never contemplated and envisaged such a serious situation, such a lacuna. And you know, we are all peaceful, loving people. We believe in the rule of law. We believe in constitutionalism. How is that possible? What are your proposals to, practically on the ground? If suppose this was done. What is to be done as a corrective measure against the chair of this dysfunctional commission And is it to ignore the constitutional procedures and safeguards that are already in place?